I go to content, backgrounds, I've got some pre-made backgrounds here. I can simply drag the background over, it goes into background mode. I'll click on my tools tab and then tap on the screen. I've now got a set of options for the background. The green icon will change the spacing of that background. Um, the one above it will change the, the line thickness of that background. And again, I can change the whole range of colors for that. I'm just going to go back to the content and I'm going to drag the crossover because I want to change my background. I want to do something different. I've got some handwriting paper, I've got line paper, some other grids as well. I'm just going to drag some handwriting paper over. Same process, tools, tap on the screen. And again, I can change the spacing of that to make it easier for the pupils to write on the screen, change the thickness. And then with handwriting paper, I've got one and two color options. I'm just going to randomly select two colors just so you can see you can set two different colors for that handwriting paper. Back to content and drag over. If you wanted to insert your own background, not one of ours, this icon here at the top puts you into background mode. It says it there. And then you can put whatever content you want on there, whether it's a picture, your own kind of background, might be past papers, PDFs, etc. Once you put it in this mode and then click off, that will stay in a back layer so you can write over the top of that. 